Ben Affleck as Batman? Who cares? Hey, whoa, absolutely not. Oh, hey, whoa, no, no, no. Look, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. I don't want to do it. Fine. God damn it! I'm alive! Oh, that was amazing! I know, right? So, you ready to go again? God, no. No, absolutely not. Please. Fine. Don't just say fine and then shoot me in the chest. It's not cool, like at all. Okay. Jeez. Kick ass too. Man, this was a great movie. So since it was a great movie, it deserves a spoiler review. So which means if you haven't seen Kick Ass or Kick Ass 2, you should watch the movies before watching this video. So that was a warning. Um first I'll talk about what I liked about this movie, minus the spoilers, and then we'll get into detail. So Kick Ass basically is about Kick Ass aka Dave, um, and Hit Girl, aka Mindy McCready. Were um, awesome heroes. They saved the day um, in Kick Ass by uh, stopping Red Mist and his evil plans. And yeah, so they started out this revolution. People are inspired by them, so they become superheroes. And Kick Ass and his group of superheroes, yeah, they're basically cleaning up the streets of crime, just like, yeah, the Dark Knight. And this is the Dark Knight that I swear to God is a lot better than the actual movie because I don't know about you, but I like when the superheroes actually don't have powers and they're teenagers so they're relatable. Unlike 32 billion year old. Yeah. So, yeah, um, but in the meantime, Hit Girl is, um, having to live a normal life. She has to go to high school, like, basically live like a regular person because her, um, dad died so she was put into care by this other guy, which is a cop, or a detective, I didn't, I didn't get what his role was, again, and, um, so Hit Girl is just, uh, living a regular life, and usually I would be like, that is just a piece of, so, um, yeah, it was, it was, a uh, actually pretty good because Hit Girl, minus her costume, she's still Hit Girl, I, Actually, there's like not a difference between Mindy McCready and Hit Girl. They're the same person. And so we get to see. So it's pretty awesome seeing her deal with the real villains, which are high school girls. And I haven't got to the point in high school yet where they actually do become villains, but hey, I'm still a freshman. I have a lot of things to cover. So yeah, um, it's really awesome, man. The main villain in this is the motherfucker. Can't even say that right. Oh my god, I, that name. Who names themselves this? Okay, whatever. So what I liked about this movie was it was really relatable because besides that they're superheroes, they're just like, I don't know, high schoolers, so they have to deal with high school problems, which is really great to see because I am going for high school right now. And it, and it was a lot more hitting it home for me than The Dark Knight because Batman's already grown up and I can't really relate to that. So yeah, um, Kick-Ass 2 was an amazing movie. It really was. Um, also, the action scenes. Um, one complaint is I um, actually... This one had a lot of shaky cam, which was stupid. But the ones that were actually good were not shaky cam. They were actually framed right, so I don't get it. So, anyways, um, Kick Ass 2, it was pretty awesome. Colonel Stars and Tribes. Okay, I heard that Jim Carrey is now a pacifist. He didn't really like this movie, but Jim Carrey, seriously, this was like a really great role. I mean, this is probably your best role I've ever seen you do because the last time you were Riddler. So, yeah, this was a pretty awesome movie. And, um, so let's get into detail. Yep, spoilers time. So. Kick Ass 2, um, it starts off with that funny you see, scene, you know, from the trailer, like, uh, Hit Girls, like, shooting Kick Ass. Oh, man, that was funny. Um, and starts off with him starting up the re revolution. It was pretty awesome seeing all those superheroes, like, for the first time, mostly the black one. <laughs> and, um, so the motherfucker, um, okay, let's just call him Red Mist. I can't even say that right. Uh, Red Mist, uh, he's, like, angry that, um, spoiler and kick ass, uh, 
kick ass like killed his dad. So now he's really angry, he just wants to like get revenge on kick ass. So, motherfucker, uh, God, Red Mist. Okay, uh, Red Mist, um, like, um, accidentally kills his mom. And, um, so he starts inheriting her stuff. And while he's searching for her closet, oh boy, he finds the weird costume that he puts on and becomes the motherfucker. So, yeah. So, Red Mist, aka some other name, uh, he just goes around and starts slaughtering people. Now, this is what I think is copied from The Dark Knight, because, um, as you can see in The Dark Knight, Joker was basically doing the same thing. So, what I didn't like in this movie was, um, Colonel Stars and Stripes gets wasted, like, really early in the movie, or that's what it felt like. And, uh, he was a really cool part, because you really sounded just to see him, and he had a really cool... Uh, background story of being an ex-mafia member that turned good. This movie has powerful messages like, um, be yourself, don't let others control your destiny, but they do it in a weird way, cause, uh, Hit Girl totally goes against her father, but it's for the greater good, and, uh, yeah. And, another thing was, this movie has a lot more emotional stuff in it than I think in the last Kick-Ass movie, because it's not like all violence, but so Kick-Ass 2 had a lot more emotion in it that I could see, and it was, sometimes it really hit me. Um, you get, really get absorbed into this universe, I don't know why, but you get really absorbed into the story, because I took like two bathroom breaks during this, it was sad. Um... Yeah, it really absorbed you enough to make you come back. And, um, so this movie was uh, really good. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. And what I also liked was, um, the villains. Oh my god, they are all based on racial stereotypes. Uh, so that was pretty good. I, I'm starting to run drive on ideas. Besides that, it's uh, not going to be as good as its predecessor. Kick-Ass 2 is 5 out of 5 for being a badass movie that just killed the summer in a fantastic way because the summer's over, guys. We've started. So yeah, Kick-Ass 2, if you saw, what did you think about it? You can comment below and we'll talk uh, later sometime. And another gripe I about before I leave is on the ending was a little bit rushed. I mean, the... Yeah, the motherfucker gets defeated, uh, Kick-Ass becomes the new hero, and Hit-Girl leaves. No. <laughs> so, um, for Kick-Ass 3, please let Hit-Girl come back. That's, that's what I want. Oh, yeah, for you guys who don't know if there's gonna be a Kick-Ass 3, really? You seriously think it's just gonna leave off of that? Well, um, oh, well, hate to break it to you, but there's gonna be another one. So I'll stick around for my less happier review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.